another LED filament lamp and I specifically chose this one. Uh, I could have gone for the one with the larger base but I chose the one with the small um, base because I wanted to see how they fit the circuitry in there because really there's not a lot of room. Uh, so let's uh, try this out. I'll screw it into this holder, this multi-adapter holder. And well, the circuitry does, certainly doesn't have smoothing capacitors because although when I'm looking at that it doesn't really look that flickery, it really is flickery as you guys can see because it's flickering horribly in the screen and when I move it like that it's like, oh it's stroboscope, I can even, I can even see that the filaments in that are only lit for a very small portion of the time. And that almost suggests a very simple capacitive style dropper um, or resistive dropper. Uh, with the voltage, uh, if you've got the sine wave, the because of the high forward voltage LEDs, it's only lighting for the very top section of the sine wave. Um, so anyway, let's open it. I was successful using brute force and ignorance last time, so I'll just use brute force and ignorance again. I thought maybe there's a resistive dropper in this. But having said that, this thing runs stone cold. It draws approximately, um, well, it shows, comes up as about 17 milliamps, and the power um, it's consuming was about 1.6 watts. But the glass stayed stone cold, and so did the base. So I haven't a clue what's in this. Capacitive dropper, resistive dropper? There's not really an awful lot in that. Okay, there's a little heat shrink sleeved circuit board. which looks as though it's fundamentally got a bridge rectifier on it. Let's see if I can not destroy the globe in the process, because I'd like to actually reincarnate it with my own circuitry, perhaps. So technically speaking, this could have a bridge rectifier, and it could have one of those self-regulating chips on it again, but just running an unsmoothed unsmooth supply, really, that is, they've cut it very close to the, um, yeah, I'm going to need a knife to slip this heat shrink. Now I can see a little boxy component on one side and a boxy component on the other. One of those is almost certainly a bridge rectifier. Look how tiny that is, just look at that, look it's absolutely minute, it really is so small. I'm thinking that could even fit inside one of the even smaller screw base lamps, the sort of the, the sort of ten millimeter diameter ones. Okay, this heat shrink's proving quite irksome, but that's okay. I'm guessing surface mount capacitor on one side, much like you find in the little uh, G9 style lamps. That looks like one to me. And then a bridge wrecked far on the other side. And that's exactly what it is. There's a little wire going up here, little just bare copper wires going up to the uh, outer sleeving there. Oh, that is tiny. That circuit board is approximately. 10 millimetres by about 8 millimetres. It's minute. And it is the most absolute basic capacitive dropper. That's incredible. So I do see some other component values there. So one of them is going to be an inrush limiting um, resistor and the other one is going to be the discharge resistor for across the uh, capacitor. So. I've got 
224, 220k, that looks like a discharge resistor. And then another little resistor up there perhaps, which is not focused. 154. 154. That's odd. 150k sounds quite a high value. I was expecting a lower value uh, than that if it's effectively in Sears the Lamp, because that's too high a value to be in Sears the Lamp. I'm not sure what that's for. Unless it's to, um, oh, you know what, that is probably so the lamp actually goes off when you've turned it off at the wall, because otherwise the slight leakage of current that you get through... Um, you get through um, the wiring, the, the switch wiring, would probably make this lamp continue to glow. Oh, well, I'm going to whip that resistor out. I quite like the idea of lamps that glow with free power. But that is just incredible. There is no series resistor that I can see. It really is just a capacitor. And so let's check the value of the capacitor. I'm going for... 220 nanofarad, I reckon. So that's one connection there. One connection there. 330 nanofarad. Okay. That explains the why the whole thing was just running cold, but it also means that all those LEDs, when you first power it up, and you know, potentially there's going to be quite a spike of current going through that because there's no real current limiting initially. But there we go. I mean, do you want me to doodle the circuit diagram down? It's not that complicated. It's basically live, uh, which I think was going to... I can't remember which. Uh, I think it might have been going to the rectifier directly. So... Just going to grab the meter one moment and double check so I don't give you a bum steer. Tangled leads. So that side is connected to there. That side is just connected to there. And then the output, that resistor really is just connected directly across. LEDs and it is in the region of 144k it's showing so yeah I think that was 150k was it I said anyway um, so we've got a resistor we've got the this is the power is coming in going through the capacitor which has a discharge resistor across it going into a bridge direct fire uh, AC in, AC in, there's neutral, going straight into the bridge rectifier. The output has got a resistor across it, purely to make sure that there's no, that leakage current doesn't result in the LEDs glowing. And then it goes to the lamp, which has just basically shed loads of LEDs in the series inside it. And that is, to date, one of the simplest circuits I've ever seen in one of these lamps, uh, but it really suits the fact that these are, um, <coughs> you know, these lamps with the huge strings of series LEDs are just so perfectly suited to operating um, directly from the mains. But, uh, you know, a wee bit of smoothing would have been nice. Even a tiny wee bit of smoothing would have been nice with that. But there you go. Uh, yeah, I like that. But then again, is there anything with LEDs that I don't like?